Please use the link below to get the notes, questions and other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to others for our daily new videos. Bug winds. The word bug itself simply means um, mountain. So you're looking at the mountain winds. The first question we're supposed to ask ourselves is that uh, the bug winds, where do they occur? Remember, these are local winds that affect South Africa in the mountainous regions. Okay, now they are bug winds. What do they mean? For us, we need to understand the meaning of bug winds. What's the meaning? So, in this case, we say bug winds are local winds that are descending off the escarpment from the interior of the escarpment to the coastal regions or the coastal low. The question is, which season do they affect South Africa? They affect South Africa mainly in winter. So we say they are dry, warm, dry winds. Why are these winds warm and they are dry? They are warm as they are descending from the Kalahari high pressure in the interior of the escarpment. They are getting heated at the abatical due to, uh, due to the descending as they are compressing. Due to adiabatic winning, this air is getting compressed. So they descend from the high uh, lying areas towards the coastal low. Like we looked at the coastal low last time, we said the coastal low, just like you hear the word, the coastal areas, they have got the coastal low pressure systems. And since, since it's also winter, there is also bad winds at the extreme side. So we have the low, two low pressure systems that are affecting South Africa which creates pressure difference, okay? And this pressure difference simply means that since we have a high pressure in the interior and you have a low pressure at the coast, winds will move from a high pressure to low pressure by applying pressure gradient. So under that line, as it is descending off the escarpment, remember the interior of South Africa is experiencing a high pressure system. And we said high pressure system, it's basically uh, dry winds that are cold and descending. But because of pressure difference, it descends from the escarpment going down to the coastal low. But as they are descending down, they are heated adiabatically or they are changing in temperatures. They are getting warm. We call it dry adiabatic wraps, right? Okay. So those are the bag winds. Okay. Another aspect we need to understand is that what are the conditions that results into the formation of bug winds? Under the conditions we have, the first one is the Kalahari anticyclone. The Kalahari anticyclone is existing into the interior. Remember when you're looking at the location of the, uh, the anticyclone, we said the Kalahari is existing in the interior, the same as continental. It's an anticyclone, it's high pressure. The second condition that is necessary for this formation is the coastal low pressure. At the coast, we must have a low pressure. So it's called the coastal low pressure, okay? Second co condition is that the steep pressure gradient. That means when you talk about the steep pressure gradient, winds move from high pressure to low pressure. Already we have the Kalahari high pressure in the interior. We have the coastal low at the coast. So there, is a, there are two pressure systems of different um, uh, composition. So the high pressure, which is, cold and dry, the coastal low, it's a low pressure. So that means winds move from high pressure to low pressure. It results into them moving from high pressure in the interior to the coastal low at the coast. Then you also have the media to cyclone also at the coast. Remember, media to cyclone is also a low pressure system that is prevailing at, at uh, or that is affecting South Africa during the winter season, all right? So those are the conditions. But the main effect that is resulting into uh, that is that the main reason for its formation are those ones. So we need to understand that what which season do they occur? They occur mainly in winter, and their main effect is veiled fire. These are natural fires that are affecting South Africa during the winter season. Okay, so we need to understand another concept, which is the impact, the impact of uh, the this media to cyclone. We have just seen that media to cyclone cause fires. Okay, so what is the impact of fires? Fires destroy the farming equipment. And um, 
the grazing land. So we see that uh, because of the fire that is started, but also we should ask a question, but how do these fires start? The fires start because of the fact that the winds that are descending from the escarpment are dry, okay? They are dry. So because they are dry, as they are descending, they are warming up adiabatically. Remember during that condition, there is also the cold store law that is experiencing uh, such uh, cool conditions, okay? So because the coastal law has also got a low pressure, but there is also the descending dry winds from the, um, the interior of South Africa. So because they are dry and they are warming up, they start to build fire because of friction, which especially it's not naturally started by human. So those fires will destroy the farms, the fires will destroy the grazing lands, the crops that are being planted by farmers will also be destroyed in the same line because of fires. The infrastructure themselves are going to be destroyed. If all this happens, how can we control, how can we prevent? Those are the precautionary measures that we can use to ensure that at least we stop these high level fires. Number one, educate people about the danger of the fires, such that when you educate them, they can prepare what to do. And in that case, you will stop the damage that would have caused or that would have been caused by, by the fire. So people need to be educated. Number two is that this fire department moving closer to the areas that have got dangers of fires, so that if the fire starts, they can easily stop it, okay? By maybe using uh, the firefighters or by watering the areas around so that you make them wait. Number three is that look out posts uh, for fires on farms. You can build up uh, those uh, towers whereby you can monitor the fire, the intensity of the fire, so that you get to know which area is likely to be affected and we stop it prior to its exist to its uh, great damage. Another thing is that um, uh, fire breaks, fire breaks to limit the destruction of fires. When we talk about fire breaks, we are referring to the aspects like um, you plant crops and you leave space or water points. Those are fire breaks. So when you put water points, it is one way or the other stopping the spreading of fires to new areas or to other areas. In that case, it will help to stop the fires. Therefore, we must know that bug winds do not last for so long. Bug winds can only last up to around about three days. And this, in this situation, you are going to experience, I think, those uh, about around the coastal regions of Cape Town and um, other regions of the east, uh, east, south of, east South Africa, you find out that this situation happens. It is winter. You expect conditions to be very cold. And within a period of two to three days or a day, the, condition, the temperatures go above 30 degrees at the coastal region. This is because of the veil fires. And another thing that you must understand that mother winds at times can easily be terminated by the arrival of the military cyclone. So when the military cyclone uh, sets in or when the military cyclone gets close to the coast of South Africa, it terminates um, the, the bag winds. Why? Because the military cyclone has got extreme cold conditions, cold winds, and therefore they will reduce the temperatures, stopping um, the bag winds effect. Those are bag winds. Okay. And in this case, this is what I have I've been talking about, that we have got the high pressure in the interior. Alongside that, we have got a low pressure at the coast. And you know that winds here rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise in the southern hills because it is a high pressure. So these winds start moving from the interior, descending towards the low pressure at the coast. And as they are descending, they are getting heated at their vertically. So warm, dry winds at the coast are going to be experienced causing fires. So the danger is basically veiled fires that are occurring at the coast. So you can see here that when um, the cold front approaches uh, South Africa, it is uh, it, with its cold condition and uh, um, um, rainy conditions, it terminates the, the fires that are going to exist in South Africa. Okay. Now, I want us to see some of the questions and how they can be asked and how we can answer them in this regard. So we're seeing that around here, we have got the mountain. Remember, we call them bag winds because of the mountain. We have got this escarpment here. On one side, we have the subsidizing cold air, the high pressure in the interior. And then 
we see the surface winds occurring and therefore what happens is high pressure here and there's a low pressure here at the coast so these winds will move from high pressure to low pressure but as they are descending down the escarpment they are getting heated adiabatically okay so we have warm dry conditions as these winds descend and from there we also see that they are dry from the interior so they are descending subsidizing as they are warming remember they're already dry from the interior because it is cold it's dry there's no rainfall just dry conditions as it is descending it causes such um problems of fires okay name the high pressure system that is visible on the diagram so learners when we say high pressure system that is visible on the diagram what do you see what is the name of this high pressure here that we see that is occurring in the interior during the winter season I hope learners, you are getting the right answer there. The high pressure system is the Kalahari high pressure system. Sometimes we call it the continental um, pressure system, high pressure system. Besides that, they say, during what season do the big winds affect the weather system, the weather of South Africa? We have just mentioned that it basically occurs during winter season. How does the bag winds, how does this wind, how does the wind in the diagram affect the weather along the coast of South Africa. We have just said that as it descends over the coast of South Africa, it starts fires. So those high yield fires that are started are going to affect the coast of South Africa, number one, that is in terms of affecting the coast, but we are saying it affects the weather. That means in terms of weather, we are going to see that this down here, it is going to heat up. The weather, the temperatures are going to increase that is number one, the temperatures are going to increase. Number two is that the coastal region of South Africa is going to be experiencing dry conditions as the winds that are descending are very dry from the interior. Okay. Okay, number the next one is that uh, uh, explain why this weather condition mentioned question three about will occur. They will occur because of number one, the winds that are descending from the interior towards the coastal low are already dry because the interior is experiencing subsidizing cold, uh, cold conditions, subsidizing cold winds. And also these winds are dry, therefore they are going to cause dry conditions at the coast. Number two is because these winds, as they are descend off the escarpment, they are warming up, they become warmer. As they are warming up in what we call the dry adiabatic rupture rate, as they are warming up, in the dry adiabatic rate, it's going to increase the temperatures, causing warmer conditions at the coast. Okay, and it will start the fires at the coast. All right, then the next question five is a name the environmental hazard um, that is likely or that is associated with the bag winds. Okay, the environmental hazard that is associated with the bag winds at the those are the uh, the fires that we talked about. The veiled fires that are started at the coast. How long do bugger winds? Um, how are the bugger winds terminated? Bugger winds are terminated will by uh, oh, the, when the mid altitude cyclone reaches the interior or the coast. That is how the bugger winds will be terminated. So basically, those are bugger winds. Okay, hope we are together, guys. If, if there is any question, please don't hesitate sending your